to Sean Watson uh, on the queue with Quincy Avery, his quarterback coach, uh, radio show. Um, talk about the new offensive staff, how it will affect him. And uh, Quincy Avery, a lot of fans thought he might be the quarterback coach. He said, no, nah, he, he wasn't interested in that. For one, fans, I'm not going to be the quarterback coach there because people keep asking me that. I'm not going to go to Cleveland. <laughs> um, but, like, do you care or is it like you just trust Kevin so much? Like, whatever he does, you know it's going to be a right fit. Yeah, I trust Kevin. AB, uh, I trust Kevin. ABP is still going to be in the room. But I trust mm -hmm. Kevin, AB. Uh, and, and being able to have two guys that, you know, understand what I want, that ask me questions that's very transparent. And I just want somebody that's a great teacher. You know, I, I, that I can learn from. You know, I'm one of the guys. I love to be coached hard. And uh, I'm pretty sure you said it before because, you know, you've been around me since I was a little kid. It's like I like the coach that gets on my ass about a certain drill or a certain play or certain things like that. I don't, you know, the pat on the back or just like, oh, we're getting that son. Like, that's not really me. I like somebody, I like to be coached hard because I'm, I know how great I am. I know my standard. So being able to have that in the room is definitely going to be key. I haven't talked to Kevin personally. Um, I'm uh, supposed to be calling them soon uh, to try to figure out the coaching situation. Uh, but I know whoever they get is going to be, you know, that's what I want is a great teacher that I can learn from. And obviously that was before they named uh, Bill Musgrave over the weekend. So uh, the thing that you see, he's in a good place with the coaching staff as well as the front office. They're talking about what he needs to be successful. Well, and first things first, look, if Quincy Avery ever wanted to go into the coaching ranks, it would have been a long time ago. Um, you know, so that would have, door certainly would have been a possibility for him. Um, but I think for Deshaun, you just hear a different tone in his voice. You know, everything is now behind him. It is nothing but football, hopefully, obviously, from here on forward. So, you know, he is going into this offseason, doesn't have to worry about getting moved, doesn't have to worry about the possibility of a contract extension, doesn't have to worry about learning a new offense, new personnel, new coaches. So Deshaun goes into a situation where his head is a lot much clearer. It's just more focused and it's football oriented. Um, you know, the fact that he even played, you know, he obviously he certainly played last year, but there was just so much more going on and so many other outside factors other than just football. For Deshaun now, it's 100% football again. And I think he truly understands you know, and he understands the position. He understands, you know, I need to be pushed hard, even sometimes if I don't deserve it, because that's the tone. The stars get pushed hard. The quarterback should get pushed hard. He's held to a standard, you know, higher standard than other players. Um, you'd like to, you like hearing exactly what Deshaun is, you know, saying to this point. And you certainly, you know, get the vibe from Deshaun that he's very excited to get back to work.